Henny Sitsigan, Axel Brüggemann, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. You are the worker in the world of classical music and everybody you talk to, I just talked to Rolando who did yeah. uh, something in Ban Ban with you, said it's so crazy, whenever he conducts, we have to work. Is that the aim? Well, the aim is to focus on what we have to do. You know, when I, I, I think I have a lot of energy as a person and I try to use it positively to make everyone be at their best and to also have, a, have fun doing it right. and, uh, and doing it in a, such a way that it's serious but that we can also enjoy it because then the, the public will enjoy it more too. So, but as a conductor, honestly, I can only be as good as all the great musicians who are around me and I'm so f lucky to be uh, always surrounded by great musicians. But you are looking for a special sound and I've got a theory that the way conductors conduct It always tells something about our time. There was the Karajan, you know, of the Wirtschaftswunder. There was the Furtwängler of the yeah. war time. And now there's the Nisex again of the what time? <laughs> of the time, perhaps, I hope, a time where it's a lot about sincerity, being ourselves, accepting not to play a game when we're a conductor, but accepting just to be ourselves, to also speak to everyone at their heart. That it's, you don't have to be of a certain age, a certain social class, a certain education to enjoy music. It's for everyone, so everyone can conduct now. And I'm, I'm blessed to be maybe in a generation where there's a great conductors of around my age. Yeah. So. Is that perhaps as well the age of post um, intellectualism, that the, the conductors before you, they went to the scores and said, yeah. ah, listen, this G major chord, yeah. and this is important. Well. And now it seems to be much more vivid again, much more human, much more n natural. I mean, I cannot say you're wrong, but on, on the other you hand, can. I think, no, <laughs> but I think, it, I would say it's more to not forget the aim of music. The aim of music, when I work, it's still very intellectual, yeah. if you ask the musicians of the orchestra. But the final aim is not the, in the, the page. The final aim is to make everybody live something emotionally. So you're right. Maybe that's the difference of this age, to, to not to forget. Maybe we forgot at some point a little bit of that uh, impact of music, that it's not something that you just analyze, it's something you should live. Is that perhaps the most difficult part of conducting to transpose the intellectual knowledge into emotional feelings? Yes, that's you, you said it. This is uh, very well said, actually, and I think we don't have enough of a lifetime to try to achieve the right balance. Uh, but someone, um, one musician told me one day, uh, many years ago, maybe something that stuck with me, uh, the best compliment I ever received, that I was a great balance between right brain and left brain. Okay. And for me, that is really the aim. And that says what you just between said. The right brain and the left brain is yeah. the heart. Thank you very much. <laughs> and congratulations to the Echo Classic. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks Thank a lot. You.